Hi! If you would like to get my art as art prints, shower curtains, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases, whatever you could think of, please check out my Redbubble shop. Thank you! Hi everyone! You know what's scary? Sketchbooks. You have to really commit or else you're just left with a whole bunch of unfinished sketchbooks that you will never finish because your style has changed since last time you drew in them and you want it to be cohesive. Then you get another one because maybe this time you will finish it and it will be perfect but oh no you don't even dare start drawing in it because you don't want to ruin another sketchbook so today let's draw in a sketchbook you have to face your fears at some point joking aside uhuhu sent me their sketchbook that they wanted me to try out so let's do that it is square got nice and thick paper and i don't know if you can see it but the pages are perforated is that how you say it perforated but it is so you can more easily remove the pages from the sketchbook if you want to and it actually seems to lay quite flat and we got a little pocket and even if it is a hard cover it is actually quite bendy and what makes this sketchbook a little special is that it is made for markers as you may know alcohol markers tend to bleed through paper so they are not really sketchbook friendly but this guy however comes ready with bleed proof paper what makes me a little concerned though is this thing that fell out of the sketchbook uh -huh, who usually send these little plastic thingies to put under the paper when you're coloring with the markers so that the markers won't bleed through to the surface underneath the paper but if this is bleed proof paper then you shouldn't really need this maybe the paper isn't bleed proof it is just made for markers to blend a little easier but yeah we'll see it does say it is bleed proof but anyway We'll also need some markers to try out these little sketchbooks. So Uhuhu also very kindly sent me a little set of markers, 120 to be exact. But yeah, these are the Uhuhu brush markers. They got a very, very nice brush tip, making a mess as usual. And at the other end, we got a chisel tip. So I am very curious to see if the paper is actually bleed proof or not and I'm actually gonna put a paper underneath just to see if the ink will bleed to the next page. And I'm just gonna add a little thicker layer of markers and then I'm gonna try a little blendy blend. This is also kind of a test to see how the markers blend on this paper and so far I'm really liking what I see. Those colors are a little hard to blend but anyway, the moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the markers are definitely bleeding through the paper and it is bleeding to the next page as well. In that case, it is actually really good that they sent you that plastic sheet to put under. The really good thing is that the markers, they are blending really nicely on the paper. There aren't a lot of feathering or spreading out. So I think the paper itself is really nice to draw with markers on, but just as any regular sketchbook, the markers will bleed through the paper. So if you're using this with markers, which you're supposed to do, I guess, then you can't use both sides of the paper. But yeah, anyway, finally, let's draw something. Now I thought it could be fun to do a limited color palette challenge. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, what happened to this one? It looks like someone chewed on this marker. So I thought maybe I can do a five marker, a three marker and a one marker challenge and I'm just gonna close my eyes and pick the markers at random. For the five marker challenge I'm gonna pick this one. I haven't opened my eyes yet so I don't know which color it is. And the next one is this one, this guy, this one, one, two, three, four, one more, this one, Let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, these are the colors that I'm gonna work with. Pastel peach, aubergine, sugarcane, lematis, and rough orange. 
So yeah, this color palette was definitely something. The colors looks kind of pretty together, but they were definitely a struggle to work with. You will see later. And I was thinking of doing a character since I had kind of like a skin tone, maybe like a witch and some mushroom. But instead I settled on this little scene instead, also with mushrooms, but with a little spaceship. I'm lining it all with a Unipin brush pen. I love the line weight that this pen creates. I do prefer the sort of uneven lines. It to me it looks a little more alive and less stiff. And I really like how the line work turned out. It is cute and it is whimsical. But then the coloring, and as I said before, I do like the colors, but they were so hard to combine and to blend. And to be clear, the markers themselves are very easy to blend, but certain colors don't really mix that well together. And I first imagined the whole background to be this green, like you're watching the scene from above in a slight angle. But then, all of a sudden, I wanted to have a crescent moon in there, and then I had to draw a sky and I really didn't like how that was turning out and how the colors blended. Now it felt much more like the little ship had landed on an open field and not a cozy forest clay that I was first going for and I think the contrast between the sky and the ground it was just too big and the plants in the foreground they turned out muddy and it all felt bleh. So I decided to give it another go already I had to face one of my sketchbook fears, messing up one of the first pages. It really bugged me since I wanted to have these pieces in order in the sketchbook, but I had to overcome my overly perfectionist side and not let little mishaps like this put me down. So yeah, here we are starting all over again and I'm actually changing the sketch a little. And as you can probably tell, I have put a little sensor thing on the left side of the screen. And that is because I actually redrew this drawing after I had already finished the other two pieces. And since the ink is showing through the pages, I don't want to spoil what color I used. Anyway, I remade the background a little bit to fit in with the other two drawings that I made, you'll see. And this time I made the sky a much softer color. I use this soft light pink which gives the whole scene a much calmer vibe and it was hard to add some shading to the grass or the moss or whatever it is. I already knew that the darker blue would be very hard to blend since it is so much darker than the green so instead I used the pink to kind of tone it down a bit and at least add a little bit of variation in the tone and saturation. And yeah, it may be a little plain perhaps, not much is happening, but what I do like though and what makes this illustration a little more interesting is the smoke coming off from the spaceship. It gives it a feeling like it has just landed and that something or someone may be on its way out. Anyway, I am a little sad that the illustrations are in the wrong order now, but I am so much happier with this version. I am so glad I redrew it. It was some really tricky colors to work with though. So now let's pick the markers for the free color challenge. Closing my eyes. I want this one and I want this one and this guy. Oh, okay, that is very similar to the other markers that I picked, but I like the colors together. Terracotta, turquoise blue, and marine blue. So yeah, let's try to make something with these. Also, let me know if I should do a video using all of the 120 markers in one illustration. Leave a like on this video if that is something that you would like to see. 
So yeah, I actually really like this color combination. It do remind me of a previous free color challenge that I did a few years ago. I think the colors are very similar. Yeah, we're sticking to the fourth theme and this time I wanted to draw the creatures from the spaceship and they are these little bunny-like blobs with glowing eyes and I am certain that I have seen these characters somewhere else. At least the shape is very familiar but I can't really put my finger on it. I really tried to create something of my own but yeah, let me know if you have seen them before. Can you believe it? Someone actually suggested that I should lock Sally outside of the art studio while I was working so that she wouldn't be annoying and interrupt the videos. It is obvious that they have never been to this channel before. It isn't a good video if there is no Sally intermissions that you have made very clear to me. Anyway, back to this illustration here. So I think this is a little more cohesive color scheme than the last one. The blue goes very well with the teal and the orangey brown adds a little more warmth. It was just much more fun and easier to work with these colors. Also, let me share some thoughts about this Ohuhu sketchbook. I really like the paper, it is smooth, it is thick, I love that. However, it does say that it is bleed proof, which it is clearly not. They even sent a plastic sheet to protect from bleeding, but I do appreciate the plastic sheet, it was very useful. The ink didn't feather too much on the paper, but I did notice that when adding a lot of layers and doing a lot of blending, the ink spread out a lot more on the paper, which I guess it is natural, but it felt like it did it a lot more on this paper than on the Bristol board that I normally use, but overall I liked it a lot. The fact that the paper is so thick and smooth, it makes it worth using alone in my opinion. And I like the square shape, very Instagram friendly. And you can actually use this sketchbook with other mediums too, you don't have to use markers. So the little alien creatures are watching this fireplace, either they have just found an old one that has burned out but there is still smoke coming up from it, or maybe they have made up a special fire themselves with some sort of method from their own planet. Either way, they look very interested and fascinated. Also, all of the trees in these illustrations are birch trees. They have this striped bark and I think it works so great for adding some extra texture and cohesiveness to the drawings. But yeah, I really love how this one turned out. It is cute and it has a bit of a mysterious feeling to it. And then we have the one color challenge and I really hope I don't get like a gray or the black one but yeah we'll see. Closing my eyes. So the color I'm gonna work with is this one. Oh no I picked a gray. Oh at least it is green gray number nine. So I was giving it some thought and I realized that this dark gray would be very tricky and a little boring to work with. It is so dark almost black. So I actually cheated a little and I did pick another color by random of course and I actually happened to get another gray but much lighter so that worked out perfectly. Also the color code it confuses me a little. BG203 it is like two in roman letters and then just a regular 03. Maybe it is supposed to be BG double I 03 which honestly makes a lot less sense. 
So I wanted to make another little scene with my alien bunny creatures and this time they're sitting on a tree trunk over a stream or a little brook perhaps. And I think this might be my favorite out of all of these three pieces. It is really simple but still cute and kind of interesting I guess. Also as you may have noticed I've drawn frames or borders around all of these drawings and they may look a little off-centered on the page. I mesh so that there would be an even space all around it but on the left side of the page towards the middle of the sketchbook the pages are perforated so in case I would ever want to remove the page from the sketchbook I measured from the perforation which makes the space a little wider at that side but I just wanted it to be equal space all around the border so yeah now you know that. So this was the most relaxing piece to work on since I didn't have to worry about any other colors and mixing and blending and stuff like that. I did use the colorless blender marker to help lighten up the color a little and also layer the gray multiple times to create a darker tone. I really love the soft feeling in this piece, the cool grey gives it almost like a wintry vibe even though there are mushrooms and plants and I tried to create a lot of different textures to help make different parts of the illustration stand out from each other but yeah I really like this piece. This was a nice way of breaking in my new sketchbook and I think it was kind of good that I messed up that drawing in the beginning. It pulls away a lot of pressure to make this perfect. Sketchbooks shouldn't be perfect anyway. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and thanks Uhuhu for these lovely products. Feel free to check out the links in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats! Bye!